I love art in general because obviously it provokes emotion and feeling and gives people an opportunity to think beyond their present circumstance. What I specifically like to do is public art. It's a huge canvas. You're getting your message out there in a much more powerful way than you could do maybe on a smaller canvas in a gallery. It's art for everyone. Hill spent 738 days perched atop an ancient redwood she named Luna to stop the clear cutting of old growth trees. I've always tried to tell people that it's not about me. The forests and our planet has been communicating with us since the beginning of time. Our planet needs translators only because people have forgotten its language. People have forgotten how to listen. National Geographic sent Dan Winter's iconic photo around the world on International Arbor Day early this year. Amanda Lynn saw it on her feed somewhere. And I was just so drawn to it, having known the story of Julia too, it just, it all seemed so powerful. My motto is love in action and has been since my time in Luna. Because when I first went up, I was very consumed by anger, as many of us are. When we see everything that's going wrong in the world, it hurts us deeply. If we take action out of anger, we're only creating more problems in the world, more hatred, more violence, more disconnect. But when we can take action out of love, then miracles can happen. I actually prefer to paint and draw on wood. I think I love the way that it absorbs charcoal and graphite as well as paint, and they seem to just sort of blend and meld together the same way that, you know, hopefully humanity can do with nature. One of the things about my tree sitting action that was so much bigger than I ever even imagined happening is that it reminds people that we matter and that we make a difference. And that even under seemingly impossible odds, that if we're willing to have the courage to stand up for our convictions, positive change can and will happen. Activism is patriotism. Your actions change the world. Every little thing you do does. It's such an honor to highlight such a prolific person who's sending a message for a lifetime. I just hope it, you know, people that come by here, it's out of nowhere, it's a little moment of wonder. What I get to do here is reintroduce this amazing human and what she did and the impact it made on so many of us for so long to the next generation. My prayer with my life is that people realize we're all ancestors of the future.